Good morning, woodchucks. Running outside like I always do every morning. Go and check the beehives. Flowers could be a little low on water. They're semi-wet, but this is the first day they are semi-wet. So they should be good for a couple more days. Don't jars of honey in the first four batches? That's kind of odd. Come over here and check on the tomatoes. Are they ready? They are ready today. Hooray, finally. So we'll be picking, the, picking those up here shortly. So, um, if you're checking in, trying to see what the full release looks like, well, it was pushed back until the 25th of February. That's why there was no Lumberjacks Dynasty uh, three days in a row here, because, well, yeah, nothing to really show here. Really, only one jar? Did I even get a jar of honey today? Just one jar of honey? That's kind of on the low side. That's fine. So what we're going to do today is uh, what we've been doing the last few episodes, is just, uh, well, you know, stockpiling up things that we may or may not need. I've been trying to stay away from um, watching the devs stream the game, trying to show off what they uh, what's coming, because I know some of what's coming, but I want a lot of it to be a surprise as well. So when it comes time, it's like, oh, that's pretty neat. That's interesting, you know. So, uh, you know, I'm going to have a little bit of a shock into the game when it comes released, which will be in a few days' time. And, of course, the schedule will be kind of be like the same. When it doesn't get released, there will be a video the next day. It's going outside. I'm not going to plant nothing just because I, you know, I don't know if I'm going to need to plant something. I may get a quest where it says I need you to plant some of these or some of that. So we're going to hold off on that. So I got the, the, the honey for today. I got the tomatoes. I need to go do what I've been doing uh, every day is go collect some eggs and some milk. Because I don't know how long it'll be before Hello. I get my own chickens and my own cows. So care to trade? Let's go ahead and make sure I got enough of these. Uh, this will sh should put me over 100 eggs. There we go. Finally, 100 eggs for myself. Uh, the reason why it's kind of important, there is going to be... Well, they did show a quest where it's going to be 100 eggs, 100 milk, and I think 100 tomatoes you got to deliver to someone. And I don't know what it's for or anything, but just, I, that's why I remember I caught it quickly. had no idea what it was for. That could change, of course, because that's before the pre-release of the next there. version comes out, which you? is a full version. Yes, Care just go trade? ahead and give me all your vegetables in here. My money is slowly going down, but we got tons of money sitting back at the mill. So it's not that big of a problem. Yeah, so last episode, we took our cobra up here, and we were cutting down some trees. I'm down to 104. I did a little bit more cutting in between episodes. I cut down about maybe, like, I don't know, half dozen to a dozen trees, something like that. Nothing too big. Hello. How are you? Uh, better than you are. You're stuck in the ground right Care now. Care to trade? Yep. Just want to go ahead and buy some of these. So I think today, if I'm not mistaken, I checked the uh, day before. The crates in the dryers should be all set, ready to be taken out. I'm below 17,000. There you go. You popped out Mrs. Uh, Sunflower Sunshine there. Um, how about some nice little berries? You got any nice little blackberries like Long Jacks or, or raspberries? Strawberries definitely would be nice right now. No? Looks like some grapes. How about some grapes? All right. She's no help. All right, let's head back on down to the mill. Hopefully I can jump into the forklift. I jumped into the forklift. What did I jump into? I jumped into the forklift. Let's take it on out. Actually, I don't want... Well, I'm going to need the forklift later on. I don't want the forklift for taking out the crates out of the dryer. So we're just going to pile them up over to the side if they are ready. They should because, like I was saying, the day before, they were down to like 5%. So they definitely should be all set and ready to rock and roll. Park that there because, well, I'm going to have to take these out and pop them into here. Even the crates over here under the roof, a lot of them are pretty much at zero. So I'm just going to leave these here. I'm not going to move them anywhere because, you know, they're nicely stacked. They look rather nice. Even this one out here. This one is slowly migrating out of the area. I don't know if that's going to matter or not, but that's down to 10% as well. These are at 0%. So, yeah, it may look like I, my money's going down, but we got tons of money just sitting around here. If I don't need them for jobs while well, they're going down to the furniture shop and of course we will go ahead make some kind of furniture i'm not going to make those chairs man could you imagine if i brought all these crates down and made chairs with that that would be unless unless they have a higher driver or some kind of automatic automated transportation system that brings oh did i check these in here i should just double check these in here just before i take them out yeah so unless they have some automated system that takes them from the furniture workshop over to the store. Yeah, I'm not going to be making those type of chairs. And who knows, they may do some price fixing as well in, in the final, well, I don't want to say final release, but uh, full release, as it's called. So, yeah, we're taking these out. We're just going to go ahead and put them over into our stockpile. 
Stockpile is not as big as it was. Uh, let's see, um, was it before? Was it? I had a stockpile going. I had them like all over here. But it's not as big as before when it was going to be the furniture workshop. I had tons of them there. Let's go ahead and just pop these over here. It doesn't matter. Just drop them anywhere. They are fine. It's too bad there's not like uh, an automated shed that we can put them into. It's like you go to like a drop off point and you kind of like the workshop. So like if you drop drop the crates into a zone, it would just go into like a storage area. Unless we can treat the workshop as a storage area in the future and we can take the crates back out. But right now, as far as I understand, because I've looked for it, once we put the crates in the workshop, you can't take them back out. So it only takes the, the dry ones. Completely dry ones. So all the logs we have up that we cut down, like I said, we're going to leave those there. Uh, because I don't know what I need them for yet. Like I said, I, um, the bridge that's out, I do believe that... Did I just pick the same one I did? Uh, the bridge that is out, I believe... Uh, where is that bridge? Um, right here. I think this is going to be a job that we have to do. I mean, I kind of thought that might be from day one, but uh, I kind of saw when Topless was streaming the other day, they were showing. they said showing some big jobs that were coming up ahead for us. So that might be one of the jobs. I have no idea. Don't hold it to me. Like I said, I didn't watch the video because I'm, I want some of it to be, I don't want to say a secret or surprise, I guess, when it comes out. But I want to be fully prepared. We got all these crates you see over here. I haven't been following along. These are all completely dry crates. So they're ready to go. For what use, I don't know yet, but um, they are here. Can I put you somewhere? I'm pretty sure I can. There we go. So when the full release does come on the 25th, um, probably the first thing we'll do is, you know, there'll be some daily quests or whatever that'll pop up. As for buying machinery, yeah, I won't be doing that because we won't have the cash at the time, unless it's something that's really cheap because I only got 17 grand on me. The only thing I would buy right away is the platform trailer that's up there. If that platform trailer would be able to hitch to this thing, that would be something I'd definitely look into because that would pretty much like, you know, double the amount I can bring down to the workshop. Save me some trips, man. I mean, it's not that far. It's not that, you know, but when you got to make like, say, 10, 15 trips down there, if you can cut the trips in half, that'd be great. But we'll probably do some quests. Uh, like I said, the first uh, day of release, I want to try to get the animals into the barn if I, if that's possible. I don't know if my relations would be good with the people that quote unquote sell them. I don't know if the relations have been solely adding up and we can't see it during uh, pre -rele full release. So, I mean, we've been doing delivering uh, baked goods to people that do have like chicken pens in their yard. I mean, obviously they don't have chickens yet, but hopefully, you know, if, if it's them, and I've been delivering stuff to them or doing jobs for them, hopefully I've been adding up some points with them along the way. Also, you know, we're going to go and talk to our future wife. I already got a picture out, picture out like on the second day I played this game. I, I saw her running through. I'm like, yep, that's got to be my wife. That's got to be my wife. But then again, who knows, uh, the full release will probably come out and I'll start doing something like, oh, we got to do, you know, change that. As for decorating the house, painting the house, I may not get to that right away. The only slight concern I have is we kind of cheated the system in a way. I mean, it allowed us to do it, but when we rebuilt the houses with new wood, it said it required dry planks to do it, but at the time... You could do a wet plank, so I hope that doesn't affect us being able to paint the buildings or not. And yes, I already do have some paint here. Uh, that was a mistake. I don't want to say a mistake, but uh, I guess it wasn't supposed to be in the store yet, the paint. And I bought the paint, came back to try to paint inside the house, outside the house. And there's some paint right there. I wonder if that will work or not work when the release comes. I may have to 
sell that and go buy fresh paint. Not that big of a deal anymore because we'll have loads of cash, as you can imagine. Loads of cash. So right now, there's nothing I really need to buy other than possibly more land, but as you saw, the, land, the forest area that we're working on, that still has like 100 trees on it. So nothing I need as of, nope, stop it, uh, as of yet. But dry crates, we got dry crates galore. Uh, I forgot how many wood chip crates that we got, but I want to say it's like up near 40. So that should be enough for now, I would think. Um, the bark, I got a full trailer. I probably got like 22, what did I say, 22,000 kilograms? Probably. Um, somewhere around there. We got a full trailer, as you may have saw when I got the platform truck. So I got a full trailer there. Uh, can you just drop somewhere? There you go. Just drop anywhere. That'll work. How are we doing on fuel instinct? 85%. That's good. That is good. Oh, I probably saw some mention. Um, I started a new farming simulator series yesterday. So if you're watching this as it goes live, uh, I started a new series yesterday. Kind of a quick video. Um, like I said in my weekly schedule, uh, it was going to be Lumberjacks Dynasty on Saturday, but since there was no full release, I decided to switch it up. And I started a new Let's Play in Farming Simulator on Griffin, Indiana. So, yeah, if you're interested in Farming Simulator and want to check that out, please go on ahead. It's, uh, it's about a 28-minute video or something like that. All right, so I think we're kind of all set here. Yep, all these are, like I said, those are dry. So how many crates of, uh, where are we here? I actually got 47. That's good. Uh, can I see the bark from here? I'm going to have to go way over to the side. I actually got 15,000 plus 11, so I got 26,000 kilograms of bark ready to go. It does say, because I, I was questioning myself on it, where does it say? Um, yes, bark gathered from processing logs can be spilled here. You can sell it or use it for different purposes. So I think it may say the same thing for the wood chip crates. Yeah, it's, that's what it says right now. Of course, uh, we'll see when the full release comes. Who knows, they may just say, no, just sell it and that's all you can do with it. Or maybe they're going to uh, implement it into the furniture workshop. I kind of suggested a long time ago they should probably take the bark and, you know, we can sell the bark to people. You know, people may have like a side quest where they need bark for, uh, you know, some people, you know, at least uh, it's kind of big here in the USA in a way that people use like bark chips uh, for flower beds because, well... It looks, it looks nice, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but that's that. Uh, as for, do I want to... You know what? I better go ahead and put these into the dryer because I will forget. And really, I don't think there's anything else I really need to do today. Oh, the only thing I do want to make sure I have... Do I have any Ami? I do got some... I got two Herbal Skins lotions Ami. Oh, and I, oh, I got plenty of shampoo as well. Okay, so I'm kind of all set there. I just wanted to make sure I had that kind of stuff, so when it comes time to flirting with the ladies and right now for me is this going to be a lady but you know I, I, she may not be she may not even like me at all i don't she may not be possible so um yeah if she doesn't if she has no interest in me maybe i should just uh talk up a couple ladies just to be sure you know play the field a little bit <laughs> but yeah i just have that one lady in mind and if you've been following this series long enough then you know exactly who i'm talking about Right, let's start, go ahead and get some of these crates in here so they can start drying up. Because Lord knows I need more dry crates around here. Yeah, I want to be able to handle some gifts. That'd be so, I, I was never able to do it in Farmer's Dynasty. But then again, that save I do in Farmer's Dynasty, which I have not played in a while either. That was from the first day of release as well. And I never started a new game after all the updates. Same thing here in Lumberjacks Dynasty. This is, this save file is from day one. Which was back in May of 2020. Whenever, whatever day of May, I think it was May. Just scroll in here. I'm, I'm scrolled out too far. And no way in heck am I going to do uh, first person driving in this. And the reason why I wouldn't want to do first person driving in this because... This is what it's like. I'm just all over the place. I mean, it's not bad. You can tell I don't do it often because my driving in first person is a lot worse than in third person. A 
we'll just load one up just for the fun of it, and then we'll go back in third person. Yep, I cannot see what the heck I'm doing. Yep, that's why I won't go in there, Peanut. You gotta get a little bit straighter than that. And there is number one and number eight done. I have seen, not just recently, but um, ever, for like the past couple months, see once in a while on, on Discord, kind of complain that we need more dryers, and really, I, <laughs> I don't think so. Um, personally, I think it's fine just the way it is. I mean, they gave us not the opportunity to put crates underneath buildings and dry that way. And really, I, I mean, I'm not going at this hardcore. I'm, I'm only playing it as of late, you know, one time a week. And easily, um, after you have the furniture workshop, the money comes in so much, I don't know what to do with all the cash. If you want to make those little puffy chairs, uh, if you brought in the 32 crates you get from the dryers, yeah, you can make like 120,000 from doing that. It's a lot of cash and furniture. That's why your first your first goal. Actually, your first goal should be. I don't want to go back too far, but your first goal should be to fix up the mill and the house and you know make sure all the buildings around here are fixed and you can do that by going into no not call a tow truck let me get on out here and go to game information stats buildings fixed uh, your first goal should be definitely to try to get all these fixed up to where all says yes right there and then um, your next goal should be and, and it could be any way you want to do it but the sooner you can buy the furniture workshop the better But play the game to have fun and play it the way you want to do it. Just don't, uh, just because I, I give you some tips or advice the way I think it should be doesn't mean that that's the way you want to play it. So just play the game to have fun. But if you're looking to for might make money the fastest, um, you've been given nine seasons of greenhouse. Uh, I have not. Now I have. I think uh, when I did that video where I double checked where I'm not getting seeds, some people have said they are and some people said they're not. Now that could be a thing of. When they updated that, since I'm on an old save, maybe it requires a restart for it to work. So I'm not too concerned about it if I get the seeds or not because it's no big deal. I did fill up that dryer. I guess if I want seeds, I guess I could go do some, find some sheep. Because as far as I know, there, there's not going to be an agri agricultural store like there is in Farmer's Dynasty. So we're not going to be able to go buy animals, not going to be able to buy seeds, anything like that. If you want to get seeds, last I heard, yeah, it's going to have to be find the sheep missions. Or if it gets fixed for me anyways, uh, getting, getting seeds because my house is beautiful. Yeah, wait till they see when painting comes along. Who knows what color I'm going to paint these walls and buildings. Load that on up. So now that I got my 100 eggs for that one quest. Who knows? They may have changed it. Maybe like 200 eggs now or something. Who, who knows? Um, if I do have 100 eggs, 100 milk. I'm not like I said. I'm not making anything. I'm just collecting. We're just storing up a lot of raw materials. Make sure we're ready to go. And I think I am. Of course, I've been prepping for it for quite a while now. And I guess the good thing for me is there's nothing, like I said, there's nothing I really need to buy right now. So I'm like, yeah, I wish I had, if I didn't have the Cobra, or if I didn't have this or didn't have that, I'd be like, I need to make and sell stuff because I don't have this stuff yet. I'd be like, yep, I need to go ahead and uh, sell stuff and do that. But we, like I said, I have everything I pretty much need. Except for a wife. That's that's the one thing I I guess I, I, I don't want to say need need, but it'd be nice to have because hopefully and from what I understand what I saw from them what they posted, the wife should be able to work around the house now. 
what's the radius that she'll work around the house? I don't know. It's like in Farmer's Dynasty. Um, she has a radius there that she can work around. And I guess the kids will work around the house a little bit too, I think they may have said. Oh, and the one thing I definitely will be looking for on the first day of release, I don't want to forget about the pets, uh, the dog. Now, when I saw them showing off the animals, uh, a lot of people were saying it looked like a golden retriever. To me, it looked like a yellow lab, more, more or less, but we shall see. And, of course, there will be a cat as well. I'm going to need a cat because I do have stuff in the pantry. I don't know if the cat's going to be the same as the cat in Farmer's Dynasty where if you don't, the cat basically helps keep the mice out of the pantry. So as long as you got a happy cat, no, you know, things won't disappear out of the pantry from the mice. And the dog is, well, I mean, the dog is there just to have fun with. All right, so I got half of it done. Usually when I get half of it done, I kind of take a break. How are we doing here? We're just about, yeah, we're even on everything, basically. Until all those logs I get up there, who knows? And like I said, the reason why we're not processing the logs is because I don't know if I'm going to need logs. And if we need planks, well, like I said, we got a pile of planks over there. We got piles of... Of planks over there. If we need wood chip boards, we got it. We got bark. Um, the one thing I am going to do is uh, I got to go here. I got to put. I should probably throw a lot of this stuff in the pantry right now because I don't need it in my inventory. Just have to remember that I probably should go ahead and grab. I won't. I won't have it in my inventory. So when full release comes up, I need something. I better go ahead down in the pantry and grab it. I may. I may water these flowers here after I get done recording, just because. If I don't do it now, I'll get too excited when full release comes and I'll forget about the flowers that are semi-wet. And uh, they'll dry and wither. They'll dry and wither. Oh, I did get asked though, uh, let's see if I just do, no, can we just get, this is what I have in my pantry already. Do I have more? I do, okay, just wanna, and move all. Yeah, we'll put all the milk, I said all the milk in there. Apples as well. Where was that? Uh... Grab that back. And anything else I need out of here? I don't think so. I got plenty of food on me. I think we're all set. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and grab these. Just to get ready, because uh, that was that's how we got the dog in Farmer's Dynasty by finding the dog on the map and giving him some sausages. And next thing you know, the dog follows you home, and you're supposed to feed him every once in a while to keep him happy. But as for our little lumber mill here, around here, we're doing we're doing pretty good. So like I said, the greenhouses or the greenhouse, uh, we're leaving empty just in case. I you know I I don't know I don't even know what I even got for seeds in here to be honest with you right now. How are we doing on seeds? So I got enough seeds hidden here to keep the greenhouse happy for a while. So I'll have to wait and see when full release comes if we can go ahead and buy some. Or is it still going to have to do sheep quest or I'll get nine seeds per day right now by the looks of the fl uh, the flowers. Now I, like I mentioned before, when we do get a wife and she will go ahead and water the flowers every day. I'll probably put like flowers here, uh, maybe some flowers there, uh, some flowers over here. All in her range, just so, I mean, the, re the reason why I like to do it is, one, if you plant flowers, uh, the grass is not going to grow, so you're not going to mow it. Although the grass here doesn't seem to grow back as fast as Farmer's Dynasty. Um, she'll water the flowers, and I should get more points, because my lawn is more beautiful, I think. I have no idea. Have not a clue. And, of course, hopefully we'll get to use this, because we haven't really been in here much, but I'm guessing we're going to come in here, and hopefully... Fix up some of our old equipment, and who knows, maybe some of our new equipment is going to be broken down too at some point. I uh, cannot wait to see what that actually does. But that is going to do it for today, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy the episode. I do appreciate you watching. As always, I'll catch you again right here in Lumberjack Dynasty, hopefully with full release. But until then, have a good one.